Lynette, Lynette, do you know the gravy zebra? Gravy zebras? Of course I do, but I'm sure most of our viewers don't know gravy zebras. Uh, oui. un zebra, oui, comme on dit. Yes, Mais it's a peculiar zebra. Well, you'll find out in the next topic. We go to Kenya, where a census of this famous endangered zebra was conducted. Conservationists in Kenya are conducting a census of gravis zebras to determine their population and also as part of a drive to collect information for conservation efforts. A group of volunteers are helping inform the count through a photographic census at the Impala Wildlife Conservancy in Laikipia County, which lies on over 48,000 acres of savanna grassland. I definitely feel more involved and I feel more appreciated that I am required, not even required, that I am, that I can help in the whole process of the conservation of gravies. So in that way I feel like it connects me not just to this particular species but just to nature as a whole and I think that's a good thing. The animals were once prevalent in the Horn of Africa region but are now primarily found in Kenya and Ethiopia. The number of the endangered species in Kenya currently stands at around 2,350 from a census done in 2016. Uh, in terms of the numbers, we've had a dramatic decline in numbers. In 1970s, 1980s, we are talking about 15,000 individuals out in the wild. But currently we are talking about 2,500 individuals out in the wild. This year, the project also aims to include reticulated giraffes, which are found in the northern part of the country. We've been getting reports through anecdotal data and through surveys that the numbers of um, reticulated giraffes have dropped drastically in the last uh, few years, couple of years, and so we, all, we thought because the same principles will apply to the uh, gravy zebra photos as to the um, reticulated giraffe photos, and given the fact that their range overlaps, so we find, so the, the, the reticulated giraffe and the, and the gravy zebra are both um, northern Kenya species, and so it seemed only prudent to include them in this um, count also and get a snapshot of what those numbers are, at least form a baseline and know whether the drastically low numbers that we identified are actually true. The citizen science-based census uses a special software to identify individual zebras. It's the second time that the IBEIS or image-based ecological information system will be used to identify individual zebras using their unique stripe patterns. What IBC is, is a, it's a computational system that matches um, images from um, wildlife images for any wildlife that is striped spotted uh, or patterned in, a, in any other way and it uses um, algorithms and uh, grid-based uh, image assessments to, to identify whether uh, images are from the same animal, two images are from the same animal, or depict the same animal. And this is useful because it helps us then within a whole population identify all the individuals in that animal and give them unique individual IDs. So over time we can tell whether we have an increase or decrease in the number of individuals in that system based off of the images. Kenya has reported a steady decline in the number of its zebras in recent years. Giraffe numbers have dropped by as much as 40 percent since the 1980s in a silent extinction driven by illegal hunting and an expansion of farmland across Africa. UN studies indicate that man-made threats led by the loss of natural habitats may herald the worst extinction crisis.